Now, cuts in government spending will hit infrastructure companies such as ACS. The company, controlled by Real Madrid president Florentino Perez, is dependent on Spain for almost 70 percent of its business. It is also the biggest shareholder in other Spanish blue chips, including the power company Iberdrola and Abertis, which builds and operates motorways. Now, ACS is expanding overseas to reduce its dependence on the home market, buying control of Hochtief in June. Now, the German builder is already boosting ACS's international sales and its bottom line. On Tuesday, the company reported a 21 percent jump in profits. Now, joining me now on the phone from Madrid is ACS's corporate general manager, Angel Mania Manuel Garcia Altosano. Thank you so much for joining us. In terms of what we're seeing in general, there seems to be so much dependence on Spain that you're really trying to diversify into other countries, such as buying that stake in Hochtief. Is this your general strategy going forward? Well, in the past, we've been, uh, we invested in Hochtief four years ago. Uh, not so much because we were able to anticipate this slowdown of the Spanish infrastructure market, but because we have a pretty uh, significant market share in Spain and wanted to be not so dependent on a single market. So we invested four years ago in Hockti because we thought it was a very interesting company which had a tremendous reach in areas of the world which had a growing potential. They have a very strong presence in the Asian market, Australia and Asia, and also have a strong foothold in the U.S. market, which for infrastructure we think is a promising area. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last uh, month, almost a year, we launched a full offer and now uh, are controlling shareholder of the company and we plan with Hopti to develop a further presence in the international market. And so it, you want to be more present in international markets, of course, uh, to try and get away from the dire economic situation that we're still seeing in Spain. How much of your business will be made internationally in the next two years? Well, just uh, by the end of the year, uh, I think uh, uh, the international sales of our group will be probably more than 70 percent of total sales. This by the end of this year. Uh, and probably in, the, in the, the coming year, probably that will increase a little bit over 75 or thereabouts. So uh, this, this would imply that we would have a, a very uh, great diversification uh, worldwide uh, across different continents, Europe being the main one, but uh, also Australia, the U.S., uh, North America, U.S. and Canada, also Latin America. So we'll have a pretty well diversified activity market. Now, of course, one of the aspects worrying investors is negotiations with the government because governments themselves are seeing so much pressure because of the austerity cuts and therefore cuts in their own budgets. What are you doing to address this with, with the Spanish government? Are, are talks ongoing and have you been given a, a clear for extra road work? Well, basically, uh, all, all clients, and that applies to, to sovereign as well as private clients, are going through a, de a deleveraging exercise. Uh, the Occidental uh, governments, not only in Spain, but Spain, uh, France, Germany, Italy, Portugal, are reducing their debt, so that puts pressure to the infrastructure new investments. It is true that uh, while the storage programs will reduce uh, infrastructure investment, at the same time, there is a significant amount of money in infrastructure funds which could, uh, in the, in, with the proper conditions, come to supplement the lack of investment in the public authorities. Uh, we've seen and yeah. uh, we continue to see PPP activities being uh, privatized and taking initiative of private money uh, to complement the investment by the government. Mr. Altosana, how concerned are you about your debt security? You have around $4.6 billion of short-term debt at the moment. How are you planning to refinance these at a time when banks themselves are being squeezed? Well, in the last uh, six months, we've already uh, refinanced uh, 5 billion euros, which we've pushed uh, to 2014 and forward. Uh, so we do not have a major concern on that basis. Basically, uh, we, we work in all the financial markets, different instruments, and we do not see a major pressure. We have no short-term immediate refinancing needs, uh, and we have a very ample plan uh, to keep on renewing and refinancing.